Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Octopus Curry. A spicy and flavorful curry made with fresh octopus. Before cooking. Spices. A mix of spices is used to create the curry paste. Common spices include cumin, coriander, turmeric, and sometimes chili powder for heat. Aromatics. Ingredients like garlic, ginger, onions, and green chilies are used to infuse flavor into the curry. Tomatoes. Fresh or canned tomatoes are often used to create a rich and tangy base. Coconut milk. Coconut milk is used to give the curry a creamy and tropical flavor. Fresh herbs. Local herbs like thyme, curry leaves, and coriander leaves may be added for freshness. Steps. Creating the curry paste. A paste is made by blending the spices, aromatics, and some tomatoes. This paste is then fried in oil until it's aromatic and the spices are toasted. Cooking the octopus. The octopus pieces are added to the curry paste and sautéed until they start to turn opaque. Adding tomatoes. The remaining tomatoes are added, along with coconut milk, and the mixture is simmered until the octopus becomes tender and the sauce thickens. Seasoning. The curry is seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. Garnishing. Fresh herbs, such as thyme or coriander leaves, are often sprinkled on top before serving. Serving and enjoyment. Octopus curry is typically served hot and can be enjoyed with rice, bread, or other side dishes. It's known for its rich and aromatic flavors, combining the natural sweetness of coconut milk with the heat of spices and the tender texture of octopus. Cultural significance. Octopus curry reflects Rodriguez's love for seafood and the use of local spices to create flavorful and comforting dishes. Seafood, including octopus, is a vital part of the island's cuisine, and this dish showcases the island's ability to blend flavors and create dishes that celebrate its cultural heritage and natural resources. Whether enjoyed at home, in local restaurants, or at street food stalls, octopus curry captures the essence of Rodriguez's culinary traditions. Dob a stew made with meat, often beef, and flavored with local spices. Dob is a classic dish enjoyed in Rodriguez and other Creole-influenced regions. It is a slow-cooked stew that features tender pieces of meat, often beef, that are marinated and braised with a rich sauce made from tomatoes, aromatic spices, and local herbs. Dob is a comforting and flavorful dish that reflects the island's love for slow-cooked, hearty meals. Ingredients and Preparation the ingredients for making dab typically include meat. Beef is commonly used, but variations can include other meats like chicken, lamb, or pork. Marinade. The meat is marinated in a mixture of spices, garlic, onions, and sometimes vinegar or wine. This helps tenderize the meat and infuse it with flavor. Aromatics. Onions, garlic, and ginger are often used to create the aromatic base of the stew. Tomatoes. Fresh or canned tomatoes are used to create the tomato-based sauce. Spices. A variety of spices like cloves, cinnamon, and thyme, as well as local herbs, may be added for flavor. Wine or stock. Red wine or beef stock is used to add depth and richness to the sauce. Steps. Marinating. The meat is marinated for several hours or overnight to allow the flavors to penetrate the meat and tenderize it. Browning. The marinated meat is browned in a hot pan to develop flavor and color. Creating the sauce. Onions, garlic, and ginger are sautéed until fragrant. Spices and herbs are added, followed by the tomatoes, wine or stock, and sometimes a bay leaf or other aromatics. Simmering. The meat is returned to the sauce, and the mixture is simmered slowly until the meat becomes tender and the sauce thickens. Seasoning. The daub is seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. Serving and enjoyment. Dab is traditionally served hot and is often accompanied by rice, bread, or potatoes. The slow cooking process allows the meat to become incredibly tender and absorb the rich flavors of the sauce, resulting in a hearty and comforting dish. Cultural significance. Dab is a dish that reflects the Creole influences in Rodriguez cuisine. It showcases the island's love for slow-cooked stews, the use of aromatic spices, and the blending of local and international flavors. Whether enjoyed at home with family or at local gatherings, Dob captures the essence of Rodriguez's culinary heritage and its appreciation for hearty and flavorful meals. Grilled fish. Freshly caught fish, seasoned and grilled to perfection. Grilled fish is a popular and delicious street food enjoyed in Rodriguez and many coastal regions around the world. In Rodriguez, where seafood is abundant, grilled fish is a particularly beloved and flavorful street food. 
Preparation. The preparation of grilled fish is relatively straightforward. Selection of fish. Freshly caught fish, often local varieties like red snapper, parrotfish, or grouper, are cleaned and gutted. Marination. The fish is typically marinated with a mixture of local spices, herbs, and aromatics. Ingredients can include garlic, ginger, thyme, chili peppers, lime juice, and oil. The marination imparts flavor to the fish and helps tenderize it. Grilling. The marinated fish is placed on a grill, often over an open flame or hot coals. It is cooked until the flesh is tender and flakes easily with a fork. The grilling process adds a smoky and charred flavor to the fish. Serving and enjoyment. Grilled fish is typically served hot and can be enjoyed in various ways. Whole fish. In Rodriguez, it's common to serve whole fish, allowing diners to enjoy the tender flesh directly off the bone. Fillets. Some vendors may offer grilled fish fillets, which are boneless and easy to eat. Accompaniments. Grilled fish is often served with a side of rice, salad, or traditional Rodrigan side dishes. Sauces. A variety of sauces, often made with local ingredients, can accompany grilled fish. These may include chili sauces, lime-based sauces, or coconut-based sauces. Cultural significance. Grilled fish is a culinary tradition that reflects Rodriguez coastal culture and love for seafood. It's a testament to the island's ability to showcase the natural flavors of its abundant marine resources. Whether enjoyed at beachside grills, local festivals, or street food stalls, grilled fish captures the essence of Rodriguez's culinary identity by celebrating the simplicity and freshness of its seafood, as well as the use of local spices and flavors. Pain Maison. Homemade bread, often served with butter or jam. Pain Maison, translates to, homemade bread, in French. In Rodriguez, as in many parts of the world, homemade bread is a staple food and an essential part of daily life. Rodriguez, like its neighboring island of Mauritius, has a strong French cultural influence, which includes a love for bread. Ingredients and preparation. The ingredients for making pain maison are simple and typically include flour. All-purpose or bread flour is commonly used. Yeast. Yeast is used to help the bread rise and become airy. Water. Lukewarm water is used to activate the yeast and create the dough. Salt. A small amount of salt is added for flavor. Steps. Mixing and kneading. The flour, water, yeast, and salt are mixed together to form a dough. The dough is then kneaded vigorously to develop the gluten structure. This process can take some time and effort to achieve a smooth and elastic dough. Rising. The dough is left to rise in a warm, draft-free place until it doubles in size. This rise allows the yeast to ferment the dough, creating air bubbles that make the bread light and airy. Shaping. After the first rise, the dough is punched down to release excess gas, shaped into a loaf or rolls, and placed in a baking pan. Second rise. The shaped dough is allowed to rise again until it reaches its desired size. This second rise contributes to the bread's final texture and flavor. Baking. The bread is baked in a preheated oven until it turns golden brown and sounds hollow when tapped on the bottom. The baking time and temperature can vary depending on the type of bread being made. Serving and enjoyment. Pain maison is typically served fresh from the oven, enjoyed with butter, jam, or other spreads. It can be part of breakfast, lunch, or dinner and is also used to make sandwiches. Freshly baked bread is a staple food in Rodriguez, and its comforting aroma and taste are cherished by both locals and visitors. Cultural significance. Homemade bread represents a timeless culinary tradition and the art of bread making passed down through generations. In Rodriguez, as in many cultures, the act of making bread at home is not just about sustenance but also a cultural expression of warmth, comfort, and togetherness. Homemade bread is a symbol of the island's cultural heritage and its connection to the simple joys of life. Bucane. Smoked meat, typically pork, served with rice and beans. Bucane is a traditional smoked meat dish enjoyed in Reunion, Rodriguez, and other parts of the world. The term, bucane, is derived from the French word, boucan, which refers to the process of smoking or curing meat. Bucane typically involves smoking pork until it's flavorful, tender, and infused with a smoky aroma. The dish is often enjoyed with various accompaniments and is a popular element of both Reunionese and Rodrigan culinary cultures. Preparation the preparation of bucane involves several steps. Curing and seasoning. Pork meat, often pork belly, is marinated with a mixture of salt, spices, and local herbs. 
The curing process helps preserve the meat and infuse it with flavor. Smoking. The marinated pork is traditionally smoked using a bukan, a wooden structure or smokehouse. The meat is hung above a fire or smoky area and slow cooked, allowing it to absorb the smoky flavor while becoming tender and flavorful. Cooking. After the smoking process, the meat can be cooked further through grilling, pan frying, or simmering, depending on how it will be served. Serving and enjoyment. Bukane is often served as a main dish, and it can be served in various ways. Bukane grilled. The smoked pork can be grilled or pan fried to achieve a crispy exterior while retaining its tenderness inside. Bukane rugale. The meat is often used as a key ingredient in rugale, a traditional Reunionese or Rodrigan dish made with tomatoes, onions, spices, and sometimes chili peppers. Bukane beans. Bukane can also be combined with beans to create a hearty and flavorful dish. Accompaniments. Bukane is often served with traditional side dishes and condiments, including Rice. Bukane is commonly paired with rice, which is a staple in the region's cuisine. Grains. Traditional grains and legumes like lentils or beans might accompany the dish. Piments. Chili peppers. Spicy piments are often used as a condiment to add heat and flavor. Cultural significance. Bukane is a dish that reflects the historical and cultural influences that have shaped Réunion's and Rodriguez cuisines. The smoking process harks back to the island's history of preserving meat, while the use of local spices and ingredients showcases the blending of cultures. Bukane is not only a culinary delight but also a connection to the island's past and the flavors that define their identities. Whether enjoyed at home, in local restaurants, or from street food vendors, Bukane captures tea.